Hey, buddy. Hello. How are you? What is going on? Uh, how is any of us? <laughs> how is any of us? That's, that's the question. How are any of us? I'm uh, I'm escaping into uh, making jam, so I feel pretty good personally, but I don't really feel that good for the country at all. I think we're in trouble. It's a crazy world out there, and you release a single of What a Wonderful World. Well, I I was asked to do it specifically for that organization. What's the organization? Um, food is fuel. Okay. It's a, you know, did, did you see the PSA with Michelle Obama? Mm hmm. Yeah. I mean, in fact, I just watched it. It's yeah. a really nice piece. It's got, uh, of course, lots of kids in it. And, and that's what it's about, right? Yeah. It's, about, it's about feeding the hungry and feeding the kids. That's right. Yeah. And it's, uh, I mean, I think it's like the last big, you know, push of the Obama administration sort of thing. So, yeah, I just got asked to do it and I was like thrilled to do it. I yeah. mean, and they needed it, they needed it kind of quick. So I turned it around fast. And I just did a acoustic. I did a couple versions. I did a piano version, which kind of like I sung it like an octave higher, but in full voice. I didn't do like falsetto, and it was kind of almost like Bing Crosby, David Bowie Christmas song version of it. Uh, that's the only way that I can describe it. And then the director called me up and said, "Hey, um, did you watch Spot?" And I hadn't watched it yet because they told me they were going to cut it around my song. And she said, "No, you gotta watch the spot." So I watched the spot, and I was like, "Okay, I see, I see what will work then." Because it was my version; it was it was a little too strident before, and it was too up. And so I broke it way down, and then just uh, got out of my way and just sort of sung it like uh, real easy and natural. And yeah. then uh, they 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 loved it. And I mean, that's a song that's and obviously know, been it, covered a lot. Yeah, I mean, I I love that song forever, and. Um, I mean, what was great is that I got asked to do it and had to turn it around fast and that they wanted such a stripped down version because had I been given like a week to do it, I don't think it would have come out as good because I think I would have overthought it. I think the pressure of how good that song is and how great the original is, it's almost like I just was allowed to sort of take a knee and just do a, a you know, a workmanlike version of it. But sometimes that's like that's such a sometimes that's such a great premise to to do something because you really just stay out of your way you don't have to sort of you know you're not there's no part of you that's really sort of trying to be impressive per se you're just really trying to do a, a natural reading of the song and stay out of its way mm -hmm. you know and and uh then the power of the song just kind of takes over yeah you know? and it's, i mean it's a because beautiful you're never version gonna be, Thank you. Yeah, I, I'm very pleased with it, too. And it's like, it's actually taught me a lot, you know, because it just, it seemed, well, for one, it was like, I think I did it on January 2nd. So it was like literally the first recording of the year. So it was this great omen. And then for it to like, you know, immediately come out, you know. Mm -hmm. I will say about this song, but uh, about the Louis Armstrong cover, I mean, it puts you... Like, like you're contributing now. You you are even in just this little moment with you and a guitar. You're doing something that is actively making the world a better place, and that's got to be cool. Because again, you know, the, here's a yeah. song that that means a lot to a lot of people, and you know, these, right. these really great people are are using it to do these really great things. And your contribution is, right. you know, you're you're feeding the hungry. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, yeah. Thank you, thank you for putting it like that because I I actually. Uh... Yeah, it's weird when like good things happen to you in your life or like, you know, because it's or just like or life opens up and there's an, or some, you know, I've, ha I've been lucky enough to have that happen a number of times in my life. And, I, and it's funny because I'm just now thinking about that regarding your question and just going like, wow, it's kind of like when really good things happen. You sort of, I, I have this tendency, I think, to sort of look at them with like one eye or something. Not really, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like almost like you're on a date with a re like somebody you really dig and you don't want to blow it. So you get too shy and you just sort of like stand next to them real quiet. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that about when good things happen. So I, I didn't really, I guess like take the full weight of it, you know, because it is weighty. It feels weighty, I guess just by, by approximation with the Obamas and also mm -hmm. the cause, you know, so it's overwhelming. I guess what I'm looking for is it's kind of overwhelming, yeah. you know. And I don't want it to be. I don't want to say that in a self-congratulatory way because 
you know, it, it's just, a, it was just, you know, in some ways just uh, very lucky that I got the opportunity to do it, you know. Well, uh, as far as songwriters go, I can completely understand why they ask you. <laughs> but, well, uh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, I do love it. I really, really do. Uh, beyond this, what happens next? I mean, I feel really stupid saying, are you working on something new? But, you know, because you just put out two records last year, but that's sort of your MO. I know, but those records, those, well, both, like, both those records were in works for so long. So I, I am actually working on new material that I'm really excited about. And that might be like eye rolling because of just like, you know, but honestly to God, it's been, it's probably been a couple of years since I've had a flow and a vibe like this. You know, it, it really like, you know how the music business is. Man. I mean, I've had that album family done for, oh man, for a long time. Mm -hmm. It was just such a long, what's next now is that, you know, I'm just kind of like, really re-engaged with real world records like that just feels like home still and also we're getting ready to put out a re um it re-release or a reissue remastering of uh redemption sun to celebrate it's like 15 year anniversary oh cool and that and i'm going to tour with that next year and i got ableton push too and the the nerds will understand what that is and um I'm learning it like crazy. And so that's become my new sort of workstation. And what's relevant about that in terms of what am I doing is it's also see with Ableton, that's kind of a, it's got a real live aspect to it. It's called, it's called live actually, but it's also like, you know, could replace pro tools in terms of your workstation or whatever you want to call it, you know? Mm -hmm. So what, what the implication of that is that, I feel like my live show can really develop a lot because I'll have a lot more sort of sonic options, I guess. And so, I mean, it's like that, man. It's like with all this stuff happening, I, I mean, I think p artists are lucky or people that have real passions are lucky because you can just kind of, you just sort of like the harder life gets, the more, you know, rewarding the work gets or something, or the more you just go into it without reservation. And, because also, like Herman has said, uh, the best things are born of necessity. So when you get to the state where, like, your art and your work becomes necessary, like, not just, not just like, killing time, I'm depressed. You know, when it's necessary, like, when your soul needs it, like, when you need it, when you, when you need music to save your life. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's mm -hmm. the only way I could put it, you know? Like, and you know what that feels like. Mm -hmm. It's like, in a way, it's like, that's when you're really like close to your your center you know well, it's just uh so it's so it's weird so like the whole world is going nuts but i feel very optimistic but i don't i i don't feel that optimistic for the state of our country but i, know I feel exactly optimistic what you mean yeah for the state of our of our spirit yeah. not not only my spirit but just collectively i think i just see a lot of evidence of people evolving and 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 consciousness expanding and just like well i mean if you go on youtube and every i mean the community of people talking about narcissistic personality disorder on youtube alone if you go on youtube and search npd abuse mm -hmm. there is a huge huge uh community of people that not only are expressing truths about humanity at, at, like never before but also some of the greatest like art is being inadvertently made there i think just the way people are writing all this amazing stuff and really what they're trying to do is heal and share and express this this turmoil but i mean at the same time it's like such raw exposed expression that it's just like for an artist to take that in and these are all uh, supposedly non-artists that are making some of the most powerful art i'm seeing now I mean, I like I go, I watch films, I read books, I like I take in what the world of arts and crafts is doing, you know. Mm -hmm. And the some the the strongest stuff I'm seeing is on YouTube about narcissistic personality <laughs> disorder. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> well, the world's a the world's a big place, and as far as I'm concerned, yeah. you know, it can be overwhelming as we've been talking about. And you just take care of the person next to you and the person next to them. And yeah. encourage them to do the what same. What if there's nobody? 
<laughs> what if there's nobody next to me? <laughs> then you walk out and you walk down the street till you find someone to be close to. <laughs> I'm just going to wait for you to come to New York. I can do that. I will be doing that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks for uh, playing the song and doing the interview, man. All right, buddy. Take care. Have a, have a good night, man. God bless you and God bless the United States of America. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see you. Later, man. Bye.